Radio on 88.7 WRSU-FM New Brunswick and online at WRSU.org.
Listening to 88.7 WRSU FM New Brunswick for the Rutgers Armenian Music Hour with your host, DJ Trrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Haru Pambukchan with a rendition of Letty John and Achvilai. Great songs, of course, from Haru. All in one track, courtesy of, well, not me, <laughs> courtesy of wherever it was I downloaded that, that track file from. Well, guys, uh, I have some information on the ACYOA General Assembly Seniors Sports Weekend 2014. Uh, it's taking place from May 22nd. That's a Thursday. Thursday, May 22nd to Monday, May 26th. Uh, the hotel where everyone's staying at is the Westin New York Grand Central, located at 212 East 42nd Street in New York City. Uh, now, some special things with the application. Uh, if you go on Facebook to the ACYOA Senior Sports Weekend events page, uh, you'll find the information in the About section that tells you where to register, how to register, how um, manage, all that. Uh, now, if you're trying to get a hotel room, uh, you know, because we there are reserved hotel rooms in bulk, of course, for the event. Uh, the deadline to do so is tomorrow. Uh, it's May 1st. Tomorrow is the last day you can register for a hotel room along with your, uh, you know, delegate, athletic, or whatever package you're going to get. Uh, you know, with the packages, you get all three events. Uh, and I'm going to tell you guys what those three events are right now. But... Before I do that, I'm sorry, I'm not doing it right now. Before I do that, I just have to reiterate that tomorrow is the deadline for hotels. If you're planning on registering and staying at the hotel with the ACYOA, you need to do so by tomorrow. If you don't plan on getting a hotel and just want to attend sports weekend, uh, you know, as an attendee, an athlete, delegate, whatever, then you have until May 15th to do so while buying events packages for the nightlife. Now, what's going on at night, you may ask? Friday night, uh, you know, which is May 23rd, is going to be <laughs> Armenians invading the 404 Club in New York City. Now, that I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> uh, Saturday night, May 24, I believe the date is. Yes, May 24 is the date. Uh, there will be a cruise line that all the army. Uh, it's going to be a New York City Skyline cruise. All Armenians are going to be on the boat. And if, uh, I don't know about you guys, but if you've ever had drinks on a boat, uh, you, it hits you a lot quicker because of all the waves making the boat rock. You get dizzy <laughs> and you get drunk. It's not, it's, not, it's not a lot of fun unless you're actually in the zone to have fun <laughs> if you catch my drift. And Sunday night is the, a uh, dinner banquet and dance, obviously, at the Broad Street Ballroom in New York City. Now... Ticket prices are as or for the following events are, you know, as such. Friday night's 404 Club uh, event is fifty dollars. Saturday night's Skyline Cruise is sixty dollars, and the banquet at Broad Street is eighty dollars. Now, Vikan, I have a question. What's up? Now, do do these prices have a certain deadline that we that you we need to meet? Yeah, or? you have to sign up by May fifteenth. Right. If you're not getting a hotel room, if you're getting a hotel room, it's May first. Oh, gotcha. May yeah. 15th. Yeah. Sounds so, good. I mean, if you're not staying in the hotel, yeah. Yeah, probably May, May 15th. Cool. Now, if you're a delegate or an athlete, uh, you know, you can get a sports pack. You get a package, sports mm -hmm. package, delegate package, for $180 to attend all three events. Now, if you do the math, uh, <laughs> you know, you're saving some money, of course. But um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, ACY. I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's that much money you're saving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be that guy right now and call you out on it. I, 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 it's just in my nature. I have to do that. You're only saving $10 when you get the package. Uh, $10 is a lot. Uh, you can go get a nice uh, cheesesteak down the street. <laughs> fake Philadelphia cheesesteak in New York City. But, you know, uh, yeah, that's all the money you'd save with the package. <laughs> uh, all athletes must get the package uh, if they're planning on playing as well for sports weekend. That's another uh, little caveat they like to throw in there. I heard that the uh, the the participation for athletes it's, it's quite pricey, is it? Well, it's, it's one you have to buy the package, so it's one eighty. Jesus. Yeah. Plus the hotel. Plus the hotel, which is gonna be with uh, oh guys uh, for for any of you wondering what the hotel room rates are, it's gonna be two hundred dollars a night. Um, but I looked into it. If you got the hotel room on your own, as in not with the ACYWA package, it's two seventy a night. So you save seventy bucks a night. That's pretty good. You stay Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's pretty good too. 
Uh, I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing for this, by the way, everyone wondering. <laughs> DJ Turchin is also in, uh, in, in the dark about this. They probably ran out of uh, two beds. So uh, it's filled to throw. Everybody's clueless at this point. <laughs> Everyone from Jer- I feel like a lot of people from Jersey just don't know what they're doing because they, they don't know if they want to stay in the hotel or not. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going to stay if we don't stay in the hotel? That's the problem. There's no, yeah. one, no one has a place in the city. Right. My microphone just ran away from me. <laughs> well, uh, so yeah. Also, there's another important thing going on during Sports Weekend. On the Monday, there's going to be uh, a brunch going on. The Children's of Armenia Fund, uh, you know, they're hosting a sports weekend brunch taking place on Monday, May 26th hmm. from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's taking place at the Perfect Pint, 203 East 45th Street and and uh, uh, crosses with 3rd Avenue. Uh, it's $25 for a, you know, brunch buffet with one complimentary mimosa or Bloody Mary. <laughs> For tickets and information, please call 212-994-8234 or visit uh, www.coafkids.org. I think I'm going to go with the Bloody Mary on that one. <laughs> I'll probably just ask if I could get something a lot harder. <laughs> For brunch. For brunch. Yeah, you guys serve whiskey, don't you? Yeah, or, or brandy. Or a nice little brandy. Actually, a nice little brandy sounds, sounds just about right for that. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's basically all the information I have right now on Sports Weekend. That's a big chunk of information for everybody to process. Um, mm-hmm. uh, shout out out there to my boy Chef Toros listening. I know he's listening. Chef Toros, my boy. Honestly, you're gonna lead the soccer team and home that meant to victory. I can tell right now. Oh, with Phil the Thrill's help, of course. Who is what's Chef the, Toros? Chef Toros, my boy Alex. Oh yeah! Oh, there! Oh, that's him! Yeah! Oh, I'm yeah. I met him on Sunday. Yeah, he's gonna cook. He's cooking up some good things for everybody, so we all win at soccer, bro. Cool. He's gonna help. He's gonna help lead the team to victory. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. We so far we have a decent eight eight guys on the team. We're looking to eight, add more. Eight definite guys. Because you don't. Well, yeah. I mean, we're still scouting too. Yeah, so yeah. So anyone, anyone in the New Jersey area looking to play soccer for Home Net Men, uh, please contact, uh, you know, the DJ Turchin fan page on Facebook, or uh, f- you can contact uh, uh, Big Baba Joe, Big Baba Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Jong Juj, if you, for those of you listening out there, just uh, hit him up. Tell him you want to play soccer for Home Net Men. Uh, although for Home Net Men. Registration deadlines are May eighth, so mm-hmm. that's also coming up. That's mm-hmm. next week as well. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get my my forms in too. Me too. <laughs> Don't forget to get two uh, passport size photos in with your uh, package. Yeah. All right, guys. I think we've been talking just a little too long right now, so I'm just gonna <laughs> kick it back to the music real quick. Um, this one right now is a special request from the man sitting next to me to my right. This is coming from Phil the Thrill. So everybody, I hope you enjoy. Phil, you want to introduce the song? Uh, Lirit Hovanisian Te yeah, It's written in Armenian for you So, yeah. you, can, so you can read it even yeah. better Te uh, Achikliner Oh, alright Guys, we'll be right back Gentlemen, welcome on the stage A most charming singer Lirit Hovanisian Sing the list, 
تیکس اون تو در تا کن گروهین پرت تیکس مورن الیس پتری و تسکار و دو من برگین کس دو مورن یرگین کس و تو دو من کس گوخ کس لیده اخ چه کلیمه ای اون مرگی سیره ای یه یه تنان مالی نرکس در شد به هر رو نایی اخ چه کلیمه ای ایسکه هست که نایی الکو الکو با چین چا تو خیات کن فرست می نایی بی 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 اخ چه کلیمه ای او ایس او ایس تو که هست که نایی Hyperdiploidy, posterior mediastinum, schemata classification. When an oncologist talks to you about childhood cancer, it could sound like a foreign language. CureSearch.org is a website that can help. It connects you to the doctors and scientists whose collaborative research has turned childhood cancer from a nearly incurable disease to one with an overall cure rate of 78%. CureSearch.org. You're not as alone as you feel. Brought to you by CureSearch and the Ad Council. A bit of mystery lies in history's eyes Cause in time the facts and the figures get twisted with lies The devil tried to kiss his goodnight, but he hides This I will prove, in fact, is simply denied I am a victim, a victim of time Victimized by the victory of viciousness The system revised, they say your centuries past Nothing can bring them to life I say your memories last, at least admit to your crimes I try to look these little kids in their eyes As they watch in their mother's demise She's cut, blood drips from her thighs She was pregnant, they rip in the stomach And slit from the sides Just so they could guess on the sex of the kid that's inside They had us war Walking and walking, the blistering sun Sand to the desert, as far as our vision can run They had us walking in circles Walk till we starve, oh Lord I hate him, forgive me, it's wrong, but I'm scarred They planted the seeds of hate in my heart It keeps growing my heart, beats slow in my heart Just keeps hoping, cause we'll never, ever give up on our cause Cause we owe it to all the people we lost Like bloody hell 
From brutal whippings to crucifixions with rusty nails But who will listen? The truth is hidden Massacres and cruel killings The snatching our future kingdom and commonwealth But where is the promise held? They distance her from it Well, is this what you wanted? Man, it's just making me sick to my stomach Cause Hitler has done it afterwards Following the Ottomans' example Can you handle me quoting this bastard's words? Cause see in 39, this how your friends spoke After all, who remembers Armenians today? End quote, forgive and forget No history repeats this leech draining the slant Cold this battle against hope We gather around, we light our candles and crowd These tears land on the ground Each year, standing so proud Together we holding banners and shout But it's written through empty space Doesn't travel the sound Nobody wants to hear us The population just can't see through the mess The way you treat one case determines What people will do next Souls can't peacefully rest Till the killer's secrets confess Buried in our holy lands And now we don't even possess It's taken part in my phrases I'm blatant But all these nations are shaking The arms of Satan For the sake of army bases We praying to God And make him admit it We still hoping But they still won't And that's why these wounds are still open Want a bird. I want my bird. I can get you a bird. I can get you ten birds. I want my bird. We're back here at the Rutgers Armenian Music Hour. Uh, you just heard Armin Open Wounds, uh, the song he performed live in Times Square at the 99th Armenian Genocide Commemoration. Uh, shout out to Captain Kirk for telling me to play that song. Uh, and everybody out there, uh, that just that's actually the first time I actually listened down and listened to the song, sat down, listened to it completely, you know, nobody bothering me, anything like that. Uh, it's very powerful words. And um, I, again, I just, I'm just i very thankful to be here, to be Armenian. And, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's kind of hard to put into words just how, how great our people are united as one to, uh, you know, for the common cause of getting the genocide recognized and, you know, the amount of people that showed up for commemorations here and at Times Square really shows that we as a people are strong and we are rising and always are on the rise ever since 1915. Uh, so I just want to... Well said. <laughs> thanks, Phil. You know, I got a lot of compliments on that speech I made for... Uh, very much that commemoration. Yeah. No, like my family, like they all called me and all that stuff. So shout out to my family out there. Uh, although my... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll throw a funny story out there. Uh, my dad called me the next day, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so he mentions to me, he's like, how come you didn't ask me when uh, Dede was born? I'm like, what do you mean? He says to me, Vikan, uh, he was not born in 1918. I say, what do you mean, bub? His tombstone says 1918. He's like, no, 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 he was born before then. I'm like, oh, okay. So he's still a genocide survivor. He's like, yeah. So I just got the date wrong according to you. Yeah, mm -hmm. but why does his tombstone say 1918? It doesn't say 1918. Yes, it does. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so just a little side story on that. Um, according, well, the tombstone says 1918, so I'm sticking with that. It says 1918. It, it's it's 1918. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's what the tombstone says. But uh, <laughs> but guys, I'm just gonna get everybody back in some uh, some better spirits right now. Here is Silva Hagopian with Sasna Pod, one of my favorite songs. We're gonna lead everybody into battle. <laughs>
back here on the air from these lovely studios here at WRSU FM at the top of the Rutgers Student Center on College Avenue. Yes, that's an invite for people to come visit me during the show. Me and Phil need some more company. This room is so big and empty. We would love for people to come and hang out with us. Right, Phil? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, great. I don't see anything, uh, anything special besides, you know, we have, we have the flux for, capacitor up there, the, to, to, uh, you know, yeah, the, making the, sure this, these go on the radio airwaves. Exactly, the racks, the you know, the the whole equipment. Shh, 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 don't 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 give too much away. Okay, we have okay. to keep some secrets. Uh, Phil, you got anything out there in the sports world? Uh, yeah, actually, you know, there's uh, there are a few things that we can uh, touch base. Um, last weekend, it was it was a very interesting week in German and Russian soccer. Yeah, we always have to you know talk about the Russians, the right weekend. Everybody's Russian. Yes. So, uh, Spartak Moscow were, were handed their first defeat in almost six weeks by uh, Ruben Krasnador, uh, ironically, Euro Movsician's former club, to Zip at Spartak. And that was a really bad defeat because that puts them a little further down in the standings and they move down to third place behind Lokomotiv Moscow and that is not a good sign and plus hmm. for the title race for for the Russian Premier League you know it's it's slipping out of Spartak's hands so they got to you know get their acts together and asap <laughs> uh, uh another note uh in Germany where our very own he- uh, Henrik uh, Mikitarian it, it, did you know that his teammates in Germany call him Mickey? What do they call him? Mickey. Mickey? Yeah, M I C K I. Like the like the boxing coach from Rocky? Maybe. Yo Mick. Yo Mick. Yo Mick. Oh, that's mm. funny. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh and they also uh they they, they had a positive draw um uh, a positive result this past weekend against Bayer Leverkusen. Uh they uh drew 2-2 at the Signal Udan Park uh, Stadion, and it was it was a very entertaining game. I I watched the game myself. I was uh, like I said, I was very entertained. Mkhitaryan <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, did some good things, you know. Uh, the, the game, even though the game ended at two two, there, there was a lot of positives uh, coming up. And also uh, another note that I have to really mention because this is one of the biggest games. Uh, this season coming up uh, in in terms of our Armenians Mm -hmm. so far and there is the German uh, uh, Pokal uh, championship game Pokal means cup uh, on May 17th that's a Saturday right before our commencement day weekend Sorry, I won't be watching. Yeah, from, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just uh, letting all the people out there know. Letting everybody out, else yeah. out there know, if you're not getting drinks with me the night before graduation, <laughs> then honestly, I don't know what to do with you. Yeah. <laughs> so Borussia Dortmund is taking on Bayern Munich in the final game at Berlin on May 17th. Uh, t- the time is to be announced. It's in two so, weeks. They still yeah. have the time. Well, uh, only I, I, only a German league. Yeah, only <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But uh, yeah, I mean, it should be a really great game. It's a, you know, it, it's a big final, and it's it's another chance for um, Mickey, as they call him in Germany. Yo, Mick. Yeah, yo, Mick, to add him uh, to uh, uh, to add some uh, extra silverware in his cabinet for, or trophy cabinet, as well as Dortmund's. So uh, p- uh, please, guys. Uh, Mark that date down and uh, try to you know catch the game if if, if you can. I party know. At, party at Phil's house. For the yeah. Game. Oh yeah. P- just just come to my house, six oh four Orangeburg Road, Riverville, New Jersey. Just stop by, you know, and I and, would I, I wouldn't give away your address. And 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 just and just uh you know ha- have a great time with me. You know I'll be. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm just about to turn off your microphone, Phil. <laughs> I'll be I'll be rocking my uh, 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 Mickey t- uh, little, j- jersey. Uh, all right, and uh, yeah, just you know. <laughs> well, thank you. It should folks. be fun. Thank you for that news. Oh, uh, guys, uh, 
I'm gonna jump back into the music off of that. Back to music, back, people. Back to music. We got some Armin Sheik coming your way. The first artist I ever saw, Armenian artist I ever saw perform live. And the same night, I had to chase around uh, my boy Rafi, making sure he was okay. Shout out to my boy Rafi. I love you, brother. Oh, and happy belated birthday to him and Baba Joe as well. So, guys, here's some Armin Sheik featuring the one and only Snoop Dogg. Yes, where is Snoop Dogg? I know Armin Sheik still hates me because I. Basically heckled his performance asking for Snoop Dogg. Baba Joe. Baba Joe. All right, guys. Here's some Armin Chick for you. Armin Chick. Big Snoop Dogg. Armin Entertainment. Yeah. in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Loving a girl right now. And loving a girl right now. To be able to love a girl, love, love, to you be, have to be, understand what love is. To be, to be lost in translation. Love, love, loving a girl, love, not now, but right to now. Be love, loving a girl right now. Loving her down. Loving a girl right now. Making it right. Loving a girl right now. Taking it, making it feel, feel, feel to like. Love. Love. Right now. Loving the girl, loving the girl right now. Not now, but right now. Right, right now.
We're back, and we are just about out the door here at the Rutgers Armenian Music Hour. I just want to say real quick, shout out to Wet Wipes, shout out to Squids, shout out to the Cake Man, shout out to Squiggy, and shout out to everybody else who's listening right now, because honestly, I love fan support, and I always think I'm a celebrity in my own head. You can ask all my friends about how big my ego can get sometimes. Group chat for life. Uh... Quick shout out all the way to Boston, my boy Vachep. Quick shout out all the way to Big Mugo, wherever you may be right now. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, we're just about done here. Phil, you got anything to say to the happy people listening around the world? Uh, just be happy in this crappy weather. And uh, I don't think you can say crap on the radio. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I apologize. Uh, be happy in this lousy weather and, Better. Uh, you know, just... In- just enjoy your life because 
you know. Well, thanks, thanks, Phil. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks for those kind words, guys. This is this is the Rutgers on Media Music Hour. Phil, fill your mics off. Uh, uh, no, no more. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you next week, guys. The show is uh, just about winding. Is basically done. Uh, in two, three weeks, we're graduating. So. Uh, enjoy the show while it lasts because that's what we're doing here at the Rutgers Armenian Music Hour. For Phil the Thrill, this is DJ Turchun signing off. That's my-